What's going on guys? Today I'm going to tell you about three secret features that Nikon didn't tell you about the Z7 in the video coming up. Alright guys, the first hidden feature that Nikon didn't tell you about is the fact that in the Z7 it has focus points, 493 of them, but you can actually wrap it around from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. So if you're shooting some shot on this side of the screen and you have something over here that just pops up and you need to focus on that, you don't have to go all the way across the screen. You can actually just go to this side and it comes out on the other side. So to show you exactly how we do that, let's go into the menu. Once I have my camera, what I can do is I can just go over here and turn it on, okay? All right guys, so what we do is we press the menu button and then we're gonna go down to custom setting menu. And then once we're in the custom setting menu, what you do is you go over and you go to autofocus and you click right. When you click right, you go down, you're gonna see all these choices. You're gonna go down to number nine, number A9, and it says focus point wrap around. Then you're gonna click right on that and no wrap or wrap. So we click wrap and then we press okay. And now, when we focus on a subject, we can just move this point around and it'll go from one side to the other, just like that. And one thing I forgot to mention is that it also can wrap around from top to bottom. So it's not just from left to right, but it's top to bottom as well. So looking back at our screen, I can see that I just go up to the other side, up, and then we go down to the other side, down or left and right, we can just go back and forth and it wraps around. So anywhere we want this point, we can put it exactly where we want it and we can do it very fast by turning the focus point wrap around on. Reviewing my image, I can see that I have whichever hat in focus I want and I can go from side to side really quickly. All right guys, the second hidden feature that Nikon forgot to tell you was that you can actually press the screen and then let go and the camera takes a picture. So for example, I just touched the screen and then it took a picture, I let go. Touch the screen, let go and it takes a picture. So how do you do that? Let's go to the back of the screen and I'll show you how. All right guys, so let's say the next image I had the two hats here and I'm gonna put my camera down, okay? So as you can see, we got the two hats here. Now we wanna focus just with our finger. Okay, just using our fingers. So how do we do that? On the back of the screen, you can press the I button. We can go over here to autofocus and I just have it on single point. So we'll put it on single autofocus. And over here, I'm just gonna have it on single point. And then once we do that, we can go over here. I can just take my finger and there's this little icon over here. It's very small, just this little finger. And when I tap on it, it says touch AF. We don't want that. We want touch shutter AF off, no. Touch shutter AF on, that's what we want. Now, when I touch it, it's gonna take a picture. Or I can touch here, I'm gonna focus there, and take the picture. Now I'm gonna go over here, it takes the picture. So, wherever I touch, it just takes a picture, and I let go of my finger. So I touch over here, and as soon as I let go, it takes a picture. Touch over here, let's see where I want the focus. I want it more in the dot com, moving over here. Actually, it's where you initially touch. So I touch right there, as soon as I let go, it takes the picture. All right, let's move it a little over here. It takes the picture, move it over here. All right, you guys get the point. All right, those two features were for photography. Now I'm gonna show you a secret feature for your video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back of the screen, you're gonna to toggle this to video, then you're gonna press menu. We're gonna go up to our video icon. We're gonna go up to our movie shooting menu. In our movie shooting menu, the third choice is choose image area. We can either choose FX or DX. Now. FX is the entire full sensor, okay? So if you're using video, 
you're going to use the entire full sensor. However, not exactly. What Nikon does is it does something called pixel binning. So it doesn't take the information from the entire sensor. It only takes it from certain lines and you're not going to get as sharp of an image as if you chose DX. Now, when I say as sharp of an image, I mean in normal lighting. Maybe in low light, the FX might be better because it has that full frame. It's resampling or processing the information. So it's not using really the entire sensor, which is kind of a bummer. So in order to get the maximum, the best video quality, what you're gonna to wanna to do is shoot DX most of the time. Now I know that crops in, so it crops in about 1.5 times. So instead of a 35 millimeter, I'm gonna have something like 52, 53 millimeter equivalent when using this lens in DX mode shooting video. All right, it's around there. So you may say, oh, that stinks because now it's zoomed in, but at the same time, it's gonna be a little sharper in normal light. You can also then switch to FX and you get a little wider. So switching between these two modes, I actually have a nice 35 millimeter lens and then I also have a 50 millimeter lens in the DX mode that would be great for doing a little tighter shots. I haven't yet done an extensive side-by-side -side comparison, but what I can tell you is in normal lighting, it'll probably be a little sharper with the DX mode. It's using that entire part of the sensor. Even though it's cropped in, it's not doing any pixel binning because it's use, using all the pixels that it has once it's cropped in. So if all that's confusing to you, in simple terms, you have two different focal lengths and you can shoot in DX mode and get usually better video quality or a little sharper video quality in most lighting situations. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to press that like button. Please share it with a friend if they would enjoy this. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel because I make the latest and greatest videos about all the new equipment, give you tutorials, tips, reviews. I also make videos about drones. So I greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. And before I go, remember guys, siempre pa'lante, nunca para atrás.